All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. How y'all doing today? And uh, hope all is well out there. Today we're going to talk about uh, just the first human son and his descendants. Uh, and who was the, uh, we're going to talk about the first uh, man being created on the earth, which we all know um, uh, who, that, who that man is. And uh, so let's get some edification on uh, the first man on the earth. And it says, Adam was the first human son of God by virtue of his creation by God, which is in Genesis 2 and 7, or Luke 3 and 38. When he was condemned to death as a willful sinner and was evicted from God's sanctuary in Eden, he was in effect disowned by God and lost his uh, fili filial relationship with his heavenly father. You can read that in Genesis three seventeen to 24. It said, those descendants from him have been born with inherited sinful tr tendencies. Since they were born of one rejected by God, Adam's descendants could not claim the relationship of being a son of God simply on the basis of birth. This is demonstrated by the Apostle John, words at, at John, which you can read that at John 1 to 12 and 13. Uh, it says, he shows that those who receive Yahweh Shai, exercising faith in his name, were giving authority to become God's children, being born not from the blood or from fleshly will or from man's will, but from God. Sonship and relationship to, to God, therefore, is not viewed as something automatically received by all of Adam's descendants at birth. This and other texts show that since Adam fall into sin, it has required some special recognition by God for men to be designated as his sons. Uh, so, talking about Adam, you know, Adam was the uh, was the first man who created, uh, uh, who committed sin on the earth. Uh, so, uh, I asked a question in my community. Uh, who was the first man to commit sin on the earth? So, if y'all paying attention, you, you, you should know the answer. I'll be back with the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.